What's going on pack rats and welcome back to the next episode of give and take a series where we're going to be buying packs along our way to division one trying to better our team and better the giveaway. Now as you can see behind me we won the game already. <laughs> I forgot to hit the record button stuff happens oh well thankfully for us there is a uh, replay an action tracker if you will that you can go see all the snipes we did this game so that's what we're going to do we're going to hit the highlight reels let's get to it. As you can see, these NHL players help out, but three goals from Agard, however you pronounce that name. He's going to be the one sealing the deal for us as we win this game 7-0, 25 shots versus, I think it was about 14. Here the goalie just throws it out. This is a dumb play by him. <laughs> Second goal, he's just going to forget about the guy uh, cross crease, and we're going to put that one away easy. Third one, you're just going to leave Andre Schuster unleashing his cannon right at the top of the point. And then we got Brown coming in, just laying the top corner. Next one, we're going to get a uh, nice deke, short side. The goalie didn't stand a chance. With the sixth goal here, we got Schuster passing it over, laying that goalie flat on his belly. And then with the last one, we just got a far side top shelf snipe. Let's get on to the packs. So a win does mean two gold premium jumbo packs for us. First one for me, second one for you guys. You know the drill. Let's hope for some more NHL players. We're already starting to see a lot of improvement, and, you know, it's it's awesome to see that improvement with such few players, but we are going to get Matt Tennyson, Andres Lee, Vinny LeCavier in the background, and Max Perot, Jason Zucker. Okay, this is some solid help. We got some fantastic centers for our team. Some nice rare contracts for us, making sure that we can keep them on the team. Unlike Stamkos and the Tampa Bay Lightning. <laughs> Please stay. We love you, Stamkos. So let's uh, take these players and let's go set up the team. Let's uh, cut to the chase and I'll show you where we're at now. So as you can see, we have Matthew Perot and Vinny LeCavier joining the first liners. Vinny is playing out of his mind. The real world figured that we'd give him a chance here. So we also have a few minor improvements on the team. We still have one bronze player hanging around, but nonetheless, our team is a lot better than it was a few games ago, and we're playing a lot better. We also have a uh, Matt Tennyson addition to the defenseman, as well as, uh, you know, following up by the Tampa Bay defenseman, which I'm still hoping I can hold on to. Hopefully we can pick up a headman down the road. That would be fantastic. Hey, one can dream. So anywho, we are going to get into your pack opening now, since I opened mine first, this is yours later, and we have a little bit of a change. Instead of me giving you all the gold rare players, the ones not worth anything, I will just turn those guys into a thousand pucks. Let's see, and you guys get Brock Nelson. You guys always get the players that I would love to have <laughs> on my team. So that's once again another pack that I would love to have. I'd love to change my pack for this pack, but we're going to have to settle with this. And you get Carl Hagelin? Man, that, that card can see any hut team to like Division 3 and be a viable resource to your team. You guys are lucking out. Even if it's not valuable to your Division 1 team, you know, it's definitely valuable to a Division 10 team. That's why I'm getting so excited about not getting these players. Anywho. So let's now get into the final game of Division 10. Yes, I answered your call. You asked for two games an episode, and I'll play two games an episode. I agree it'll be a lot more fun. More action in one video. I absolutely agree. So for our fourth game, we have home field advantage. Hopefully we can bring home the Division title for the home fans, the Tesla Coils, popping it off at Emily Arena down in Tampa, Florida, and we are playing a Boston fan. Hopefully he doesn't have a, uh, I don't know, a Marshawn, a Bergeron, a Rask. Well, it looks like his best player is uh Ronaldo and I hate Ronaldo so I hope we crush this guy let's hope for a good game let's hope for a good division title match something exciting we don't really want to have a boring game here nonetheless let's kick it out so I did just finish recording my first division one gameplay that series is going to be so much fun I was so nervous to play my first game the challenge in that division is just insane the skill players have, the players that they used was just awesome. I'm really looking forward to finishing out the series. We're going to get our first dirty goal, just a grungy goal out of the corner. Throw it towards the goal, you never know what's going to happen. These goalies do suck in Division 10. As you can see from the five minutes of gameplay here, that the draft picks we have taken on have been performing out of their minds. Honors Lee is going to snipe one, bury that biscuit right inside the corner. So the trick to playing all your opponents, whether it's Division 10 to Division 1, is figuring out how they're playing. And right now, we are dominating right now. The guy only has 18 seconds of time on attack and two shots. Hopefully, we can uh, finish this game off. I don't really have any doubts that we will. But nonetheless, let's hope for a good rest of the game. 
See, as I was saying, you know, the, the skill level between people from Division 10 and Division 1 all depends on their playstyle. It's whether or not you can realize what they're doing, what their strategies are, what their tendencies are, and being able to capitalize on them. Sometimes, you know, if you just carry the puck or, you know, leave a defenseman right out, Anders Lee's going to get his second of the night and he's going to capitalize on the defenseman not picking him up. So it looks like we're going to get out of Division 10 unscathed here. I was a bit surprised at, you know, the level of competition that I did get from some of the players in Division 10. That might have been the skill level of the players we were playing, or it just might have been the bronze players not being able to move very well. This guy uh, seems to be giving up right now. <laughs> I would too if I only had about 30 seconds of time on attack. You know, I've, I've had this experience with brothers and friends. They just love dive bombing people, but unfortunately for him, he's going to get a double mine and we're going to go five on three. Unfortunately for him, these are video game refs, and they don't miss much despite all these six or seven dive attempts we've gotten. But it's nice to see that our team is starting to steamroll opponents. Hopefully we can make this uh, run continue all the way to Division, uh, I don't know, seven or six without experiencing our first loss. Check out that team chemistry. What a pass. And he's going to leave us wide open in front, and this guy has had enough. That is our Division 10 title. So you know what that means? That means two specialty packs that are on the market right now hopefully we can get some fantastic upgrades on our team two shots on goal 38 seconds to my eight minutes and 28 that's a pretty dominating division 10 title win i expected nothing less from our team so let's go check out these packs finally look at this prince of wales nice trophy on fire you got any more trophies for us moving on up of course you we are so that's, uh, okay, those are some three sweet trophies, but now on to the gold rare packs for you. It's only 25k, but I think that's about fitting for the level of competition we are facing right now. 25k per pack, nothing too fancy. Hopefully we can pull something nice out of this one. Let's see what we get. I'm hoping for a star center right now, uh, and we are going to get Frederick Anderson. I was not even thinking about getting a decent goalie, and we're getting Brady Shen. He is a pretty good center. He's a great all-around centerman. We're pretty lucky to have two poles awesome right at the bat. Now we got a goalie that we can most likely take to Division 1. We get Nathan Gerby, the Mini St. Louis, and Adam Larson. Those are four fantastic poles from a 25k pack for the purposes of what we're doing in this episode. So I'm very happy about those ones. Let's check out the team and let's check out the upgrades. I got Brady Shen joining Vinny LeCavier with our Philadelphia. Even though he's an LA King now, we're going to finish out our force line. We got Gerby joining Anders Lee and JT Brown. And then we got some, you know, scavengers on the third and fourth line. Luckily, we are now an all-gold team. All NHL players, so hopefully Division 9 will treat us well. We got Frederick Anderson, an 87 overall goalie, which I am so thrilled about for our team. And we got Adam Larson joining Hickey. And we had to get rid of the Tampa Bay Lightning defensemen because we got so many good right defensemen. And unfortunately, maybe we can get a Lightning defenseman in the end so we can re realign this holy, not trinity, I don't know, duality. Let's go with that. So now this next pack is for you guys for the giveaway for you all. And you are going to get Thomas Vanek. You know, I think... I got the better pack this time. I would love to have Nashishkin, but I think I did get the better pack this time. So it finally happened. It took me a division win, a division title for this to happen. But nonetheless, those are about four players that I will add a thousand pucks to the giveaway, which this is the episode to get in on the giveaway. Since I did advance the next division, put your PlayStation 4 username in the comment section below. I'm sure it'll be around, I don't know, 15,000 pucks in giveaway, give or take a few thousand. But nonetheless, this is the episode. So go ahead and put your comment in the section below. I always like checking out the uh, the teams I just played against. And it looks like this guy did open up his starter pack and put together a team. So I guess he got trial by fire. <laughs> he got to play me on my way to Division 1. Hopefully he uh, wasn't depressed too much and demotivated. Let's hope he keeps playing. Maybe I'll see him rematch in the Division 1 title game. Now that would be an awesome plot twist. Let's hope for that. Once again, guys, since we did win the Division title, put your PlayStation 4 usernames in the comment section below. Like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the video, and please share with all your friends. This is an awesome series we're doing. I'm very happy about it. But until next time, guys, this is Pack Daddy. I'm out.